child can start to die in about 20 seconds. She started to sort of go blue around the mouth and her eyes were like saucers and I just couldn't get her to take that breath. Rebecca Moore loved dressing her baby daughter in the latest trends. You see so many babies, bald babies with these big head, you know, fancy headbands and things on and I just saw, I only bought it like the week before. But the fashion statement nearly killed her. I just heard her make a little choking sound and I didn't at first react because I just, it didn't seem out of the ordinary. Um, and then I sort of, something told me to have a bit more of a look. Luckily, her mother's instinct did kick in because Layla was just moments away from death. And I turned the pram around and that's when I noticed her like gagging and like gasping for air. Layla was choking on her headband. This photo shows the huge flower that almost turned fatal. When she's pulled the headband down, she's sucked on the headband and the petals come off and it's been lodged in the back of her throat. Any object of clothing or a toy or anything around the house that a child can pull apart and put in their mouth is a potential choking hazard. Rob Caulfield from KidSafe says parents must be vigilant at all times. Anything that a child can put in their mouth, they can choke on. And that includes coins and batteries and all sorts of small objects around the house, but more importantly, things that they might have on them, like a headband or an item of uh, clothing. So parents just really need to be aware that uh, kids are curious, they'll pull things apart and they'll certainly stick things in their mouth. Rebecca purchased the headband from Best and Less. A few days after the incident, she returned to the store to find the packaging did have a warning on the label, saying the item is a choking hazard for children under the age of three. Rebecca posted a warning to other mothers on her Facebook page, which was seen by more than 50,000 people, including Best and Less, who acted immediately. Our quality assurance team acted immediately to ensure it was quickly removed from shelves across our 200 stores. The team also reported the incident to the ACCC so it could urgently investigate the product and we contacted the headband supplier to request it review its quality testing procedures. Basically now I am really wary of everything that she wears, so obviously no headbands. Um, even the clothes that she'd worn previously, I've since gone to put on her and just thought, oh no, that's, that could easily come off. It's just made me a lot more aware of what can actually, what can actually happen.